Hey friends, wanted to pop on real quickly before this video starts for an update. So originally this video was filmed and already edited and planned to go up August 6th, the day before the launch. But since then, me and a few of my friends here on YouTube, you guys might have seen the video already, uh, Michelle Wong, Alicia from Kinky Sweat, Glam Girl Chelsea, and Pelsy Brianna J, we decided we wanted to do a collaboration to go up the day before the launch. So that video has already gone up and I wanted to save this video and still upload it. Um, the following, you know, within the following few days to show you guys a different way and a different look to this palette. So if you missed that first video that went up on August 6th, I'll have that one linked down below. You can catch this makeup look in it along with another look. We each did a video with two looks. So I will link um, my video to that as well as theirs in case you missed it. But I wanted to give you that update because in this video, I make references that kind of don't make sense for when this video is actually going live. So there's that. All right, let's get started. When you open it, oh, let me take off this little protector here. This is what the palette looks like inside. You get a nice big mirror. I'm going to turn that down so you're not, um, you know, glared at. And then these are the 15 shades that you get. You get a good mix of mattes, a good mix of shimmer and foils, a good mix of a variety of shade tones too. You've got, just like Mel said, those really vivid pastels. You've got some neutrals in here to work with. It looks like you have some great options for brow highlight and crease, which I love. And then you've got those pops of colors for the lid. Um, and you also have, you know, deeper shades there in the bottom corner for lining or smoking out, creating a bit more of a dramatic look. So, so, so beautiful. I will have some swatch that will be uh, laid over this video so you guys can see, um, you know, how all the shades swatch on the skin. But let's go ahead and dive right in. I, this introduction's already been a little too long. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes. I'm going to start with the Revlon Color Stay Eye Primer. Uh, one of my favorites, my go-tos. It's nice because it's thin. It doesn't have um, it doesn't have like a thick consistency to it, so it really shears out nicely on the lid, and it's transparent, which is what I look for in an uh, eyeshadow primer. I don't like anything really colored if I'm going to put it on my eye for a primer. Now I will use like you know cream shadows that have color, but I just won't layer shadow on top of them. Um, so I like a transparent eye primer. And one that brightens up the little a lid a little bit to kind of cancel out any veins or darkness that you have on the lid. We all tend to have a little discoloration on the eyelid, whether, like I said, it's veins or like blue tint or just a darker uh, undertone. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of blend that. And I'm using the BK Beauty 201, just a real fluffy brush to sheer it out. All right, let me scoot you guys in a little closer so that I don't forget to do that. And um, let's get started in this palette. Okay, so I am looking at the transition shades in here. And I think I'm going to dive right in here. This is called Death Moth. And it looks like a cool tone, mid to medium toned uh, matte brown. And I am actually going to use the same brush. I'm going to kind of just like you know, swirl it on my hand to get any excess um, primer off. And we are gonna go right inside this shade and I'm going to start by building this into my crease. I mean, the pigment payoff is like so intense. Look at that. Like I am like using such light pressure and I am getting so much color payoff. It is crazy to me how great these shadows are. I mean, these are just better than even some of the best brands out there. They're, it's really, really, Really nice. I know most of you guys have probably tried Sydney Grace. Um, Sydney Grace is kind of like our favorite eyeshadow brand in our Beauty Chit Chat Facebook group page. I'll have that linked down below for you um, if you want to join that. It's a really cool community um, of like beauty obsessed, <laughs> makeup product obsessed women, and we have a lot of fun in there. Uh, but we're always doing like Sydney Grace hauls. Everyone's always posting what they're getting from Sydney Grace, and I love seeing that. Okay, so this blends out really nice and easily. I also think because I had a little eye primer on. This brush, it probably made that color a little bit more intense too. So I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm really not even picking up much pressure on the palette. I'm not like, yeah, I mean, I literally just like dabbed it in there and look at this payoff. It's crazy. So this is kind of a great transition shade for someone my shade or a little bit deeper. Um, this also would be a great outer corner shade to add depth to more fair skin or even for like skin my tone. Uh, it's a little darker than I usually go with it in a transition, but it blends out so nicely that you can really get, you can really get that real soft diffused look. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, back and forth, letting the brush do all the work really. The goal is to have a really nice diffused kind of blown out effect. Oh my gosh, that is so easy. 
Sorry, I'm a little excited. I have been so excited to film this video. I'm so proud of you, Mel, and I just, I adore you. If you, um, I know a lot of you are already subscribed to her channel, but if you're not, I'm gonna have her channel linked down below. Check her out. She is such a beautiful person inside and out, and I really feel like such a gem on YouTube. She is so talented. She's a former Mac artist, um, and her channel, I mean, you will get looks of all variety on her channel. You'll get bright, bold, colorful looks. You will also get like really neutral glam looks. You'll get really soft lips. She'll looks, you'll get soft lips, bold lips. I mean, she is a true artist and I mean, she amazes me. She truly does amaze me. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add um, some more to the outer corner and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Bugaboo. It is this really pretty matte kind of uh, eggplant shade. I would call that, would I call that eggplant shade? What would you call that? That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it an eggplant shade. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush for this. I'm going to take, what am I gonna take here? Um, I'm actually gonna take the BK Beauty 207 brush to apply it, and then I'm gonna blend it out with the 202 brush. Um, I like to use, when I'm working with a dark MAC shade like this, I like to use a brush like this because it does a great job of just like really being precise where you apply it, and then you can go and blend it with a um, fluffier brush. It also takes out that like, Oh, uh, am I gonna, you know, get too much darkness everywhere? Kind of like, I feel like it's kind of like doing winged eyeliner. You know that, fe that little bit of fear you get? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna go in and apply this and I'm just going to pack it onto the outer corner. Okay, so if you can see, I really just kind of press that in. I'm not even gonna blend it yet. I'm just gonna let it sit so I can go and pack the other side uh, just to make sure that I get a nice kind of even application on both sides. Okay, pack, pack, pack. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the 202, which is our other crease brush, but it's a little more tapered, so it's a, a little bit better for uh, more control. And I'm just kind of going back and forth. This is a clean brush, so I didn't apply any product on it. I'm, I'm just using it as a tool to soften that outer corner. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I love adding a little purple to a look in a subtle way. Uh, it's really gonna pull out green in my eyes or if you have blue eyes, it's really gonna pull out blue in your eyes. If you have brown eyes but you have any like amber tones to it or like a honey tone to it, using purples will really uh, pull that out too. Okay, so I'm just kind of gonna, I took a little bit and added it to the tip of this and I'm just blending it into the crease. This is so pretty, oh, gorgeous. Mm, I love that color. Okay, then next, okay, I wanna do something fun. I'm really drawn to this shade right here. Probably no surprise to you guys, this is kind of my thing. I love this shade right here. It's called um, Marvel, but should I try something different? Yeah, I think we're gonna live on the edge here. <laughs> And I'm gonna try this shade right here. It's called Fire Butts. And it's this really beautiful foiled um, like olive green. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. That just looks like liquid metal. So pretty. Okay, and I'm gonna use a brush to apply it because I have these big old gigantic eyelash extensions and my finger is, you know, too big and it's hard for me to control it. But honestly, I usually, without lash extensions, love to apply these shadows with my finger. They're really easy to apply. So I'm gonna use the 203 brush. It's just a small basic shader brush. You probably have something just like this already. And I'm gonna load up the side of the brush. So I'm taking the side, not the tip, I'm taking the side, loading it up. I am going to slightly tap it off just to make sure I don't have any fallout. Um, these big old eyelash extensions do a great job catching fallout, but then they're impossible to clean. Okay. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to pack this onto the center of the lid. Oh my gosh. Can, I mean, hello, what is going on here? These are so <laughs> insane. These feel and look like a liquid. Well, I guess they don't feel like a liquid. They feel like a powder, but they apply and look like a liquid. They're so opaque, that is so beautiful. Now, I do wanna say this, if like a really intense foil is not your thing, there are ways you can apply it to soften that foiled effect. I'm using a really dense um, brush, but if you use a fluffier brush like this, like let me actually show you, okay? Let me show you the difference. So I'm gonna take the real dense brush we just used and I'm gonna show you, you know, what that looks like, okay? So I apply it like that, you, it's opaque, you see, you know, tons of shimmer, it's just like, Boom, a punch of, of pigment, right? And shimmer. Now, if you want a softer application, take a fluffier brush. So this is the 201. I'm dipping it in, and let's see how this applies. So I'm just going to, you know, 
kind of soften it onto the hand. Do you see the difference in the two applications of that? Here we go, let's see. See the difference? Same exact eyeshadow, different brush. Do you see the difference? I mean, this still has, you know, obviously good payoff, but it's much softer, right, than this. So depending on what you're going for, you still can work with shimmer shadows if you adjust the brush that you, or like foiled shadows if you adjust just the brush that you use. All right, back to business. So I'm packing this on, and I'm going to leave the inner corner bare because I am gonna go over that with a different shade. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. I am so excited for you, Mel. Like, uh, anytime a friend has a product collab launch like this, I, it feels like it's my launch. Like, I get just so giddy for them. It's such an exciting moment, and I just, I'm so happy for you. All right, so packing, packing, packing. Okay, I'm going to leave that inner corner bare. I'm going to go back and add more in the outer half. When you pack a real foiled shade like this on top of a dark mat, you kind of lose that depth. So I'm going to go back and add that in a bit. Um, okay, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab this shade here. It's called Web. And it's a, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's a real beautiful foil. It's kind of like white shade. Not quite like super stark white, but definitely brighter than like an ivory. And again, it's that foiled effect that's gonna make it look a little lighter because it reflects so much light. And I'm gonna go in with, let's see, I'm gonna actually use a 203, and I'm gonna apply this right in the inner corner. I did grab a clean 203 though because I didn't want that other shade to um, cancel this out. Okay, that's so pretty. And I'm just gonna kind of lay it in the inner corner and then blend it to just kind of seamlessly go into that green shade. All right, now we're gonna go back and kind of deepen that outer corner a bit. I'm gonna take that same shade that we already worked with and we're just gonna go back and layer a little bit of that to get some of that definition back. I'm using the 202 brush. Okay, and then I'm also going to kind of blend it a little, not only in the crease and corner, but I'm actually kind of kind of blend it in the center of the lid a little bit just to soften that transition from foiled to matte to dark, just to soften that transition. Obviously, there's still gonna be a lot of contrast there because the colors are so different and the textures are so different, but by going over it, it's gonna kind of make that transition a little bit softer, which is what I want. These are so pretty. Okay, I feel like you can create so many different looks as I'm looking at this palette. You can do so much with it. I feel like it's definitely Mel, you know? Colorful, vibrant. There's some good basics here though. To the, I mean, the basics, the transition shade, the neutrals, those are your building blocks for looks. So even if you like bold color, it's always nice to have some neutrals in the palette to help, you know, lay the foundation. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Spider. And I'm gonna take a tiny little angled brush. This is our uh, 208 brush. And I am going to lay a little, uh, I'm gonna use this as liner on the top lash. Um, okay, so this brush makes liner so easy. And I'm really just gonna line the outer corner of my eyelid. And I'm gonna kind of pull it up a little bit to give kind of a lifted, slight winged effect. I have a video on how to create winged liner really easy. It's a soft winged liner, it's not like super dramatic. I'll link that down below. I think it's like the best little tip and trick for winged liner if you're going for a softer winged liner. If you want a real dramatic like liquid liner, it, that video is not really gonna help you, but if you want a softer, what I call a baby wing, that video is really helpful, so check it out. This is a great liner color. Okay, so that just like kind of deepened that lash line. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I mean, normally I'd probably do something neutral, but in the spirit of really putting this palette to work, we're gonna try a different shade. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It is called Love Bug, and it's a really beautiful kind of lilac lavender, but a little deeper than a lilac. Pinky, oh, it's so pretty. I love that color. That's. That's my jam. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, another pencil brush. I'm taking a clean one though, because this first one I used had that darker shade and I don't want dark right now. So I'm gonna take that and we're just gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Holy moly, like that is crazy to me. Like I, I dipped it in one time and I was able to get that payoff across the whole lash line. That does not happen. Typically I have to really dig into shadows a couple of times to get that kind of payoff. It's insane. Sydney Grace is just 
you just, you, you just, you just, there's nothing to complain about with our product. It is just so good. Okay. I'm going to really layer that down here. Kind of get a soft, smoky purple effect. So pretty. Okay. And then I could totally leave it like that, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to add this shade right here. It's called, um, Ooh, what is that word? I should probably know that word, but I'm just being honest. I don't know what that word is. Scarab, scarab, oh gosh, I'm gonna embarrass myself. I'm gonna use that shade and I'm going to kind of go over the outer corner. This is really pretty. It's like a multi-duochrome color. What that means is that it takes on a different color the way the light hits it. And it's like a blue, turquoisey brown. Oh, so pretty. Reminds me of this color by MAC that I used to love um, called Club. I don't know if they still make that shade, but it reminds me of Club. Okay, I'm gonna smoke that out. All right, pop on a little bit of mascara. I just have the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm gonna pop this on my lower lashes. I'm debating getting my lashes taken off. I know I go back and forth with it. I really love the way that they look, but they do kind of get in the way. I shouldn't be putting mascara on them, by the way. You should not do this if you have lash extensions. Um, but they just make it hard to apply eye makeup. And I feel like they're a little distracting, but I love them. What do you think? Let me know down below. Okay, then next I'm gonna line the inner rim with just a brightening pencil. This is the Wet n Wild um, Brow Ultimate Brow Highlighter. It's got a nice pinky shade to it. Um, I really love lining the inner rim, especially when I'm doing kind of a dramatic eye like this because I feel like it just adds an extra level of glam to the look that is so subtle. I call it pageant makeup. If you've ever watched beauty pageants, look at their makeup. They almost always have this inner rim lined. Now you don't want to go too, too heavy with it. You don't want it to look distracting. You just want it to, um, brighten the eye. Okay. All right, so next, beautiful palette, Mel. All the information will be down below. I'm definitely gonna be doing some more videos using this um, all month long. Let's dive into a couple of other products I'm so excited to try. This was sent to me from my friend, Caitlin. I don't know if she likes to be called Kiki G, though. I feel like she likes to be called Kiki G because that's her channel name. And um, she is the founder of Salt New York and they make these beautiful palettes. This is the mini one. It's a magnetic palette. Look how pretty it is. But it, she has larger ones for like eyeshadows and I have them, but she, I think the minis may have just recently launched. So she sent me this and she sent me some of her new cream products. So we're gonna be doing bronzer blush highlighter with these and I'm so excited. So we're gonna start with bronzer first. And I grabbed, okay, so these are two of the bronzers, believe it or not. This is the light one and this is the medium one. I, I think the medium one is gonna be a better bet for me. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 107 and I'm just gonna kind of tap it in this product. Her cream products are very, very lightweight. So they're not a thick, heavy cream at all. They're super easy to work with. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of go back here and apply it as if I were applying bronzer. Normally when I apply powder bronzer, I use a fluffier brush. So I'll use the 103 brush that we have or the 104 brush. But with cream, I like to use something a little smaller and more dense. Ooh, this is pretty. And usually when, with a good cream product, you can just like kind of press it where you want it and you'll get the payoff that you want. You don't necessarily need to like blend. You just need to press. So keep that in mind. Makes it real easy. If you have a good cream product, you should be able to do that. So, oh, that looks pretty natural. Very, very natural. All right, and then I'm gonna go on the other side. Ooh, my hair. Let me put this hair in a clip. I meant to do that when I started, but I forgot. Okay. And press, press, press. I'm just using the side of my brush to pick it up and then the side of my brush to apply. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit here on my forehead, my hairline, I should say. And I'm gonna do a little bit on the side of my nose. I know I'm using a big, huge brush, but I'm not really trying to contour my nose here. I'm just trying to give a little bit of bronzy there, a little bronzy action. Okay, next I'm gonna go in and let's go ahead and highlight because I'm gonna use the same brush for highlight and blush. This is the BK Beauty 108 brush. It is my favorite brush as of lately for concealer, for highlight and for cream blush. Not powder, but cream works great. Um, I'm gonna take the lightest shade here. Um, I will have the name of this, excuse me, in the description box below. Uh, I think it's the gold. I don't. I, don't quote me on that. I will have the shade name down below. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and we are going to kind of press it right here. Now you guys know I don't typically highlight uh, my face. I'm just gonna be honest, you don't see me do a lot of that. Uh, but if I do, I want a very lightweight product. I want something like sheer and 
and just that, that really looks natural into the skin. I don't like, I feel like a lot of highlight products now, or not now, but um, I feel like a lot of them are like a, a powder that almost looks like the shadow. You know what I mean? It's just so intense and it's just too much for my, for my face. Um, so if I use a highlight, I want something really natural like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this shade and blush, which I'm so excited. So I think these are blush and lip tints. You can use them on both. And I'm going to kind of really load the brush up there. Smile, pop it on the cheeks. Ooh, that has a lot of payoff. Like, I'm actually gonna do both cheeks with that payoff. What I like about the Her Formula is they're pigmented as you can see, but you can really sheer them out and get a natural look or build them and get a lot of payoff. Um, it's a really beautiful formula. Really beautiful. I think the shade is called Rose. And I like to just concentrate this right on the cheeks. I had a video that went up. It hasn't gone up yet. It'll go up by the time this video is up. It's like tips for um, like younger looking makeup, youthful makeup. I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet. But one of the uh, tips was to use a cream blush. If I would have had these before I filmed that, I would have used that use these. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love that you can just kind of continue to work with it until you have exactly what you want. Now I have been known to go a little heavy on the blush. Watch some of my old videos and you'll be like, whoa, <laughs> but that's just what I like. I got big cheeks. So, all right, I'm going to press, press, press. Okay. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop and step away. Okay. Next for lips, I'm going to keep the lips kind of simple. Um, I shouldn't say simple, I should say like bare because the eyes, I really feel like that's where we need to have the focus on this look. So I'm using the Wayne Goss Lip Pencil in the shade Vintage Pink and I'm going to softly line and fill the lips in a little bit. I do have a little bit of lip gloss on my lips. This is the great like soft peachy nude liner. It makes it easy to slightly overline your lips. Okay, and then for lipstick, I'm gonna use the Clinique uh, Beige Pop Lipstick. This is a little mini one. This lipstick is nice. It has a great texture to it. It has primer built into it. So it's kind of the perfect, I feel like the perfect texture. Creamy, but not too thick and creamy. A little bit of a sheen, but not too glossy. Good amount of pigment. And I am going to top a little bit of gloss on top of this look. I'm gonna use the um, Ofra Lip Gloss in the shade Golden Rose. Real pretty pink, but it's very, very sheer. So when it goes on the lips, it doesn't quite look like this color. It just adds a lot of shine to the lip and the slightest baby pink tint. Okay, perfect. Pretty, I love it. I'm feeling Mel Thompson vibes and I am, I'm not complaining about it. <laughs> And here is the look pulled out. Very, very, very proud of you, Mel. So, so happy for you. I will have all the launch date information and where you can pick up this palette in the description box below. Please go give Mel some love. Congratulate her on this day. This is so exciting. And I am just, I wish I could like see her and give her a real life hug. But for now, I'm giving you virtual hugs, Mel. Virtual hugs. Love you so much. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.